Hello and welcome to the Out of the Sandbox video guide to custom fonts. Today we're going to be taking a look at three of our support articles here that are about implementing custom fonts with your Out of the Sandbox theme. I'm just going to preface all of these instructions by telling you that all of these instructions involve changes to the code. And if this is out of your wheelhouse, if it's something that you're at all uncomfortable with, then we highly suggest that you head over to our services page on outofthesandbox.com and take a look at the various Shopify experts that we recommend that you can work with to have these changes made on your shop. So I will be just covering the details that are within the articles here. And if you had any issues where you needed further details, then check out our list of recommended experts for further assistance. First, we're going to take a look at implementing a custom font whenever you have access to the font file. So whichever way that you have procured these font files, you'll have them stored on your machine. Well, here is how you go about implementing them with your theme. To be clear, these fonts will not appear within the settings of the theme, but instead you will be able to use the fonts as you target various classes using CSS rules. And if that was unclear to you, by all means check out our list of recommended experts, because that is their area of expertise. But to show you what I'm talking about, here I am on my admin panel. I'm going to head into Actions, Edit Code. If I scroll down here, I get to our Assets folder, where I can add a new asset. It's here that I will upload the font files that are available to me from my machine. And here I have pulled up the various file types that I have associated with my custom font. I'm going to go ahead and upload them each individually to my Assets folder. All right, now you can see my custom font avant-garde has been added to my assets folder. I've got three different file types here, all of which can be added to the font face code. And that code can be found in styles.scss.liquid. So you head up here, you go to the very bottom of the page where you will find the font face code, and it is currently commented out. So to first activate this code, go to the top of the code and remove this, then go to the bottom of the code and remove this and you're all set to start entering your own uh, custom font file names and names. So I'm going to first change the font family name here to whatever I'm going to be entering whenever I assign this font to various classes. I'll have it just like that. And then down here in all of these sources, we're going to replace or remove these sources, replacing them with the files that we have in our assets folder or removing them if we don't have that file type. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the few that I do not have files for. And then replace font name with the actual file name. Important to note that within your sources here, that each source is separated by a comma, with the last source being given a semicolon to wrap up the sources here. Otherwise, you'll end up with a bit of an error when you go to view the page. Fantastic. With all of the file types entered here, we can now start to target some various classes to apply this custom font. A quick way to do this would be to head into the custom fonts article and grab the code that we have here, which will apply to all of the headings of your shop. I'm going to go ahead and paste that and replace font name here with the actual font family name that I have entered above. And I can give that a save. Then sure enough, when I take a preview of the site, we can see that the custom font has been applied for these various headings. Then, of course, if you wanted to go in and target the other classes of text, you would add further CSS rules here to target those specific classes. If you needed any extra assistance in figuring out what these classes are, take a look at our services page where you will find a list of Shopify experts that would gladly help you out with applying these custom fonts to the various classes of text on your storefront. Next, let's take a look at how we can add a Google font to our theme that is not currently within the theme settings. So as you see, when you head into Customize Theme, into the General Settings typography, that any of our font options here have some various Google fonts of both the serif and sans serif varieties, but you may have a 
Google font in mind that is not currently on this list, well, you can have access to the font by simply adding it to the settings and then selecting it for the particular class of text. So for this, let's use the logo text as an example. That's this store name text that we see right up here. And what we're going to do to add a Google font is to first choose the Google font. I have selected this shadows into light font from Google Fonts. With that in mind, we head into our admin panel, down to config, settings schema.json, where we can take a look for our typography settings. And here we are, we've jumped into our typography settings, and we see we've got the logo text settings here. And as we scroll down a little bit here, we get into the Google fonts. My favorite way to do this is to just simply take a copy of one of the fonts and paste it directly below itself, and then go ahead and edit this to reflect the font that we are adding in. So we leave that Google preface there, and then replace the Avant Pro with the name of our selected Google font. Just like that. Obviously change the label here as well to how you would like it to appear within the settings. And then down here is the group of fonts that you will find it in. We'll leave it in the sans serif Google fonts category and go ahead and give it a save. With that saved, you can refresh your customized settings window here. Head back into general settings typography where you will now find shadows into light as an option for the logo font. And there it is. So you can repeat that same step for the various classes or categories of typography that you're looking to add Google Fonts to or apply Google Fonts to, and that's all done here within the settings schema.json file. Finally, let's take a look at using Adobe Typekit in your theme. This will assume that you already have an Adobe Typekit account. You've already sort of set up some fonts on that account. Well, now I'll show you how to implement those fonts with the theme itself. So here I am on my Typekit account. I can go ahead and enter the kit editor here, which shows up in a pop-up, so that I can get the embed code, which is underneath this link here. I can copy this script here to my clipboard, then head over to the theme, into edit code, into layout theme.liquid, and then anywhere between this opening head tag and the closing head tag, we can enter this script. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter it right above my custom fonts script here. With that added, you can head back to your Typekit account, back into the kit editor here, where you can find some prepared CSS that you can add to the bottom of your style sheet. So you can simply give that a copy, head back into this styles.scss.liquid file here. It's usually an advisable idea to head to the bottom and enter it within your custom styles making sure that it won't conflict with your previous changes. And that's all there is to it for implementing a Typekit font with your theme. Be sure to add the script to the theme.liquid file and add the applicable CSS to the bottom of styles.scss.liquid. Again, if you hit any snags with these instructions, this is indeed an advanced customization, so we're not able to give you any support from our help center, but instead head over to our services page where you will find a listing of recommended experts who will get you the rest of the way there. My name is Sean Campbell. Thank you for joining me for this video guide. Take care.